Hey folks, did you wake up this morning and go, boy, it's hot already. It was. It didn't cool off last night. Take a look at our low temperatures last night in the valley. Brownsville, 85. Harlinson, West Dakota, McAllen, all 84 for low temperatures. And there's something called a record high minimum, or the low temperature set a record for being warmer than it's ever been before. And Brownsville, take a look at this. Only three times in recorded history, as far as we could tell, has the temperature not dropped below 85 degrees at night. Only three times in recorded history. It was July 13th, 1895, August 6th, 1896, and August August 5th, 1897. So it hasn't happened, the low temperature staying 85 in over 120 years, which means even I don't remember when it happened. It's been so long ago. Three times back in the 1890s, but not since have we seen a low temperature of 85 degrees in Brown. So every night since then has been cooler than that until last night and this morning. A record high minimum is what that is. Current temperatures look like this. 101 in McAllen right now, 94 in Brownsville, 87 at the beach, about 110 on the far western end of the valley. Add the humidity in, and it's off the chart. Feels like 125 in the west, 112 in McAllen. Feels like 108 in Brownsville right now. And tomorrow's highs, again, these are the actual temperatures right up around 100 degrees. Again, breezy and hot. It's going to feel like anywhere from 110 to 115 yet again tomorrow. 95 is the normal high for this time of year. We're going to be above that tomorrow. We do kind of step down 98, 97 for Thursday and Friday. And by the weekend, we're going to actually drop below average as the chance of rain shoots up starting Friday and really lasting into Saturday and Sunday. Satellite shows almost nothing out there today. It's been a very quiet day across the region and should be quiet tonight. Patchy clouds, not much more than that. So it's another hot, humid and breezy day across the area tomorrow. We go into Thursday. Models now starting to hit a few showers, maybe even a thunder shower on Thursday. We're going to put just a slight chance in there for Thursday at 20%. By the time we get to Friday, we're up to 40%, and that chance then is going to hold into the weekend, probably peaking on Saturday, but lingering all the way into Monday. It's white wing season, right? Pretty good chance of rain once again. In the tropics, we're now tracking two named storms, Nana and Omar. We'll start with Nana. They're sitting down here in the Caribbean. Nana is going to move off to the west and likely not an issue for the Gulf of Mexico at all. Winds are 50, likely becoming a hurricane just before reaching the coast of Belize and then moving across Central America, probably re-emerging into the Pacific. Could become a named storm over there again. If that happens, it would get a different name from the Pacific list. And we're also tracking Omar out in the Atlantic. This probably not going to do much. Move off to the east, northeast and fade away. By the time we get to the end of the week, it's probably history as a remnant low and that will be the end of that. But that's two more names off the list for this year. Also tracking two systems, one coming off Africa, 50% chance of development. This little guy right here, 10 to 20% chance over the next five days. So tonight, partly cloudy, breezy, and very warm, 81, maybe too cool. We may be mid-80s across the area. And then tomorrow, 100, sunny and breezy again. It's going to feel like anywhere from 110 to 115 during the afternoon. So 100 tomorrow, then 98, then 97. We're putting that slight chance for a shower in there Thursday. Slightly better chance on Friday than and the weekend, scattered storms possible Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday. By Tuesday, it's out of here. The long-range models still hint at maybe a front in the neighborhood about Wednesday of next week. That's your updated First One Five AccuWeather Forecast.